Yo everybody, Mobile Gamers Unite here. It's like 3 in the morning, so we're going to do an anniversary part 2 vid because I don't feel like I covered everything. Um, there was a few stones left unturned. One of those stones was the new level 80 boss that we've all been trying to fight. So I went through and I ran this boss multiple times. Like, I even thought maybe uh, you have to wipe the boss out before you kill all the mobs. Maybe they're empowering it. No, 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 no. Doesn't matter what you do, that boss is going to have 99% damage resistance to any source of element. So whether you're using fire, holy, dark, ice, it doesn't matter. It's just going to not take any damage at all. So, um, I've even thought... Uh, you know, if we could bring uh, Shadow Wall or Dark Wall and dampen some of the holy damage that it does, maybe you could last out longer and actually uh, break the boss with the break bar. That's just not going to happen because I don't even think we have Shadow Wall or Dark Wall out yet, which would um, give everybody some light resistance. I look through all of my arcs. I don't see it. So the only feasible way that I can see to actually beat this boss right now is if you have the Covert Gun. Um, pretty much what this thing is going to do is it is going to let you, um, it's going to let you ignore uh, elemental resistance. And since this boss has 99% to each element, this is pretty much what you need to scratch this boss. So... I'm not going to be able to do it. I have this thing at a 3.6%, but um, I do see the importance of this item now, so I will be trying to farm this thing out. I don't think I would be able to farm it out in time to actually clear this boss. Luckily for me, the only thing that's up for grabs in this boss fight is like 90 Lapis or something like that. It's not like they're giving us some sort of exclusive item for beating this boss. So, uh, this is the arc that this is on. Uh, Caldon the Great. This is going to have this amazing gun. Um, so, you know, keep your eyes out open for that. This thing is amazing. Speaking of amazing, this right here is part of the combo that replaces Randy. Okay? Um, that's big news to me because I don't know if you guys knew this or not I hate Randy <laughs> like, and um, I only hate Randy because I've played so many gotcha games and there's a secret of mana collab in every single one of those games so um, I wanted to say something earlier about Celios surpassing Randy I just wasn't sure yet and I had to do some fact checking I had to look around but it's been confirmed Celios does uh, beat Randy out um, if you have that gun that lets him ignore resistance because remember Celios is doing ice damage and a whole lot of it um, so that's really exciting especially for me um, here's the thing though if you pull Celios right now is he going to be more powerful than Randy the answer is no he's not I mean, unless you pull four copies of him. Randy comes with 200 shards. That's still kind of hard to beat. So it would be nice to get a Celios and slowly start working on him. Um, all in all, I'm just really happy that <clears throat> there's finally a character that beats Randy out. And he's a non-limited character. Again, non-limited, right? I've been telling you guys in the last vid, save your Lapis, right? Um, I gotta be honest with you guys though. <laughs> okay, I cheated on you a little bit. I, it was just the tip. I'm sorry. I swear. <laughs> See what what it happened was, what it happened was, when I did all the math and I figured everything out, and it just dawned upon me how awesome Celios is as a character, just because he's gonna replace Randy. I decided, man, I should do some pulls on him. So as you guys can see, my crystals here. I did drop about. Yeah, three, four thousand crystals to try to pull him, and then I stop myself because honestly, I have to practice what I preach. And I was like, "Wait, what are you doing? 
you know there's collabs coming you know there's Prince Roland you know there's all these limited banners coming you know this is freaking pull candy um, but I felt for it myself a little bit I did cut myself off so um, I did tell you guys when I blew through all my lapis I would make a pull vid out of it so I stopped myself I'm sorry I cheated on you but it was just the tip I swear okay <laughs> so all in all though um, I can confirm it this is awesome news I'm really really glad that we're moving on from Randy um, and I'm really glad that they're putting a non-limited character into the summon pool that can potentially surpass Randy yes it's going to take um, it's going to take a, an SSR item um, but so what you know what I mean like he's not limited that's really cool this game's going in a really good direction I was wondering how long Randy could stay on top um, you know at the same time this really makes me wonder uh, what the new limited meta is going to be and I think we're gonna get a taste of that with this Dr. Stone collab that's coming I am still holding out for that <clears throat> let me say that again I am still holding out for that um, Yo, for the sake of Celios being so cool, and he does have an awesome spray too, beats Randy's out 100%, probably because I'm just so numb to Randy from every other gacha game I've ever played, um, but Celios definitely looks cool, he's got that Sub-Zero vibe about him, um, wouldn't mind having him and just, you know, kind of start working on him slowly, um, but I am going to practice what I preach, uh, Damn it, when I say I'm going to do leg day, I'm going to do leg day. <laughs> but I'm going to practice what I preach. Uh, I am holding on to the rest of my lapis. What I will do is I will do the daily pull for 100 lapis. And we'll see if we can get Celios that way. Um, really, I drop like 3,000 lapis. I got a couple of arcs. Just dupe arcs. So, what, what are you going to do? Life's a gotcha. Um... I couldn't really expect my luck to hold out in this game like I got Lily instantly um, there's a lot of heroes in this game that I have just gotten instantly I just do one pull I do that daily pull I mean who knows I could, I could still even net a Celios. his banner is up for what I mean let's see okay so this thing's gonna be up for 12 days I'll just do a daily in fact uh, Man, that's tough now. Might want to save all my resources after the little splurge I just went through. But we'll see, we'll see. But I'm not going to do any more pulls um, without recording them. And I'm not going to do any more pulls unless they're on a limited banner. I have to practice what I preach. If I'm sitting here telling you guys um, to be strong and hold out for the limited banners, um, I should definitely be doing that myself, you know. Um... And I know exactly how this is going to go, right? They're going to introduce, they're going to drop limited banners. And that's when you're going to be like, damn, I wish I wouldn't have pulled on those non-limited characters. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm sure that that's how I will eventually end up getting Celios. Is he will come down as an off banner from, um, from some of these limited banners that I pull on. Um, if we look here... We look at all these characters that I have. I didn't pull for any of these characters that are non-limited. I've only pulled. Let's see. I pulled for the fire troll because I just thought he looked cool. I pulled for Davin. Uh, I pulled for Zuglas. Damn. I'm sorry, guys. It's like three in the morning. How did I forget Zuglas? He's like my favorite character. Um. So yeah. Uh, everything here. Everything here, every character here, I netted off of um, pulling for Elza and just pulling for the limited banners. So that's what I'm preaching. Um, even though I kind of had a little bit of a cheat day, I will still preach that. I'm still going to do that. Everybody hold out. Be strong. Um, because the fact of the matter is, even if you pull Celios right now, he's still not going to overtake Randy unless you fully power him up you're gonna have to fully awaken him you're gonna have to grind shards out for him Randy comes with 200 shards I've talked about that a lot that's hard to beat 
You're going to have to do that with Celios just to catch him up. And then you're also going to have that, you're going to have to have that gun that um, ignores elemental resistance. So I think uh, this boss that they threw at us was just kind of a taste of what to expect. I even thought earlier today, I was like, man, maybe this boss is just broken. Maybe they're going to nerf this thing tomorrow. No, um, they're not, and I can totally see why they did this. They're, they're kind of giving us a nudge to go into that direction. Hey, guys, uh, ignoring uh, resistance is very important. You might want to try to snag up a weapon or an item that ignores resistance. Because for the life of me, I can't think of any other way to uh, to overtake this boss right here. Um, has anybody... This is the question that I'm throwing out there in YouTube land. Has anybody beaten this challenge map, this level 80 Crimson Flame map, without the gun that ignores uh, elemental resistance? Um, I thought maybe, just maybe, with the right party combination, um, you can reduce dark resistance by 50%. The thing is, you have to bring... Um, in my mind, I think you would have to use Blood Rose as a mage to wipe out all of the mobs, and then you'd have to try to score some crits so you could uh, break this boss's dark resistance. And you would also have to have... Um, who is the other girl? Who is the healer girl? The summoner girl. You'd have to have the summoner girl um, so she could break dark resistance by another 20%. And then you'd have to stack weaken on top of that. Um, and then obviously you'd have to have somebody there like, I don't know, Zuglis or somebody that just pumps out a ton of dark damage. And maybe you could overtake it like that. Um, this is the only thing I could possibly think of other than having that gun that ignores uh, the the resistance that this thing has because it's 99% to everything, right? And it's immune to stun, it, it, it's, it's immune to everything. So that's my question. Has anybody beaten, uh, has anybody beaten this challenge? And how did you do it without the gun? If it's even possible. Um, again, these characters that I'm talking about, I don't have them strong enough. Like feasibly, I could break dark resistance by 50%. But I don't think my characters would survive the fight. Um, my Blood Rose is only level 73. And my Summoner Lena, not Warlock Lena, she's only level 6. What, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, my Summoner Lena is only level 73. Um, so her and Blood Rose together, they could break dark by 50%. I don't think they would live long enough to do that. I mean, one foul swoop of that damn thing, and Lena would be on her knees, and it, it would be a done deal. Um, or this is the next strategy that I would be trying. Um, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to power these characters up. And really, I'm just thankful right now that um, there's not like some limited item or something awesome like that from beating that boss, you're just going to get 90 Lapis. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I could use 90 Lapis right now to uh, <laughs> to kind of come back from some of the splurging and cheating that I did, but um, again, just the tip, just the tip, I'm sorry. So, other than that, that's all I have to share with you guys tonight. Um, I hope everybody is having an awesome anniversary. And we're still going to get tons and tons of Lapis, right? I'm sure as soon as the server resets, they're going to give us some more. So put all that in your piggy bank. Uh, don't be like me. Don't have a cheat day. Don't be a bastard. Practice what you preach. Real talk. Life is a real gotcha, and you have to have discipline to get through it. You cannot pull on every single freaking uh, banner that you see. Um, I mean, I, I mean, you can if you have an infinite Visa card and you want to go that route. Hey, you know, whatever. I'm sure some of you out there are millionaires, and that's just what you do for fun. Honestly, if I had a few more millions, I'd probably be doing the same damn thing too. But in all reality, um, discipline is important, and especially when you're playing gotchas. 
with the amount of gacha games that I play, I could not even survive in this world without some discipline. In Landgrisser right now, I'm stocked up on Lapis for um, a limited collab that we're waiting on right now. I'm watching banner after banner pass me by, and I'm saving everything for that uh, collab. And I got to do the same thing here, right? I've been saying it the whole time. So, Mobile Gamers Unite, wanted to touch base with everybody. And um, like I said, if anybody out there has beat that challenge map, please leave me a comment. Let your boy know. Let me know how you did it. Um, you know, especially if you did not use that awesome, awesome gun. And man, the funny thing is, I noticed that gun a while ago. And it was in one of my vids, and I was like, does this thing really work the way that I think it does? I probably should have put more stock into it. Um, I had like 50% worth of ether. I did put that into a staff, though. Like, in my mind, a staff would just be more usable. I don't have a top-tier staff to give to one of my casters yet, so that's what I've been working on. I have a, a top-tier staff at like 65%. Um, so yeah, that gun is definitely going to be the next thing that I work on. So leave me a comment. Let me know what's the, uh, what's the next Trustmaster you guys are working on. And let me know if you beat that godforsaken challenge map. Alright, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Stay strong, everybody. Stay strong. Peace.